Hello, Mark Crossfield here. I just want to do a quick tip on trying to make sure you start with your head very slightly behind the ball. So really your left eye kind of on top of the ball almost is what you're after. Look, if you look at the two pictures here, you've got a um, picture on the left here. You can see my head's way forward of the ball, kind of over the ball and forward of it at address. And you can see the picture on the right here. I'm starting much more with my left kind of ear on the back of the ball. So almost my left eye on the back of the ball. Now, by starting with the picture on the left here with my head so forward of the ball, what this encourages is a very poor weight transfer. So as I make my backswing, even though I do try and get my weight onto my right foot, because I've started forward, even at the top of my backswing, I'm still not coiled up behind the ball yet. And if you look at the swing on the right, if we swing that one through, what you see is I am actually loading up behind the ball. And this is going to encourage a much better weight transfer on the way through. So you can see a real good movement of my hips going forwards, head starting to come up and go forwards after I've hit the ball. So a real natural weight progressing onto my left side as I go through. If you look at the picture on the right, there's almost this kind of moving backwards to hit the ball. You can see how my head's moving backwards. And then as I come through, no real effort to move the weight forward. So hips not getting forward as far. And you can see my head's leaning much further back, centering my weight more towards my right foot. So by starting with my head in the wrong place at the beginning of my swing, it encourages a very poor weight shift because you're getting a right muddle with where your weight's going. Um, also what you see, if you look from this picture from down the lines, there's a decent swing down the line. If we look at this one where you start with your head forward of the ball, what tends to happen is it tends to open your shoulders at address. So if you start with your head forward of the ball, um, you tend to get your alignment a bit skewed up. And if you get your alignment skewed up, even though my feet are quite square on the ground, my hips and shoulders are opening from this kind of leaning forward position at the beginning. What happens, it creates this very much uh, kind of this out to in swing path, much more of a slicing, chopping, steeper attack of the ball. So you can see as I come in to hit this one, what happens is we're getting it much more from the outside. You can see the club approaching there, much more from the outside as it comes in to hit the ball. Where if you look at my more neutral setup here, when I started with my left ear more on the ball at the beginning, what happens is it's a much more neutral swing play, which has encouraged me to not only get my weight through the ball better, but it's also encouraging me to apply the club to the ball on a much more direct path, hitting right through the middle of it. So look guys, when you're setting up, it's such an easy mistake. I see loads of students making this uh, mistake. It's such a simple one to fix. Make sure you're starting with your left ear almost on the ball. Don't start with your nose on top of it. It's only going to encourage a, a more of a choppy slicing kind of swing. Look, hope that helps. Any comments, post below. Always interesting to hear what you guys got to say. And uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Facebook or Mark Crossfield or on Twitter at Full Golf Online. Ask me a question through any of those. People contact me through Facebook and Twitter, and I'll always try to help. Thanks for watching.